Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We are back for another Monday Market Watch, taking a look at the Euro market and how things are changing up over there. Apologies about any noises in the background. I have lots of loud people, including a brother-in-law who's quite young and he's next door shouting at his mates on Xbox. So I expect a little bit of that weird background noise. And of course, inevitably, the fucking idiot hounds that I live in the house with. So apologies about any background noise that comes up throughout this video. But that's enough nonsense for then. Thank you very much for coming along, guys. If you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on these every single Monday, along with all the other content that I do. Or, of course, if you're back again, like some kind of weirdo, then uh, thanks, I guess. You, you enjoy bad content thoroughly, don't you? But that's enough nonsense, of course, for today. Apologies again about the weird dropout in the background. We are... Uh, Making some changes, let's just say, and uh, packing up some things. So, thank you very much for coming along. Let's get stuck into the Euro Market Watch. Okay, so welcome to the Market Watch, guys. We're going to start off with one of the craziest movers and shakers over the last few days. Anyone that's been keeping an eye, and I should really have covered this in the last Market Watch, Plague Spreader Zombies. I got mine for a nice solid €8 Euros in uh, Unlim in good condition. Uh, well, probably near mint, I would say, and I managed to sell it for well above 30, and that's what exactly what we're seeing here. If you want something in near mint, 40 euros a pop for something in on them, and if you want first edition, well, I've got some bad news for you. They are, well, 300 euros apparently on card market, or 200 if you don't mind something in excellent condition let's say um absolutely insane that it's going for this kind of price it was only a matter of time really before this card was usable again of course the banning of other good tuners has kind of enabled this to happen absolutely wild to me that it's this kind of price so quite honestly guys for the vast majority of people you're going to be absolutely fine to go out and get yourself a nice cheap copy however if you do like to flex you can get one of the world's ugliest ulties and uh you flex on people like that i guess Next up, we're going to take a look at some PK cards, followed by some Burning Abyss cards, because, well, the two are pretty interchangeable as it stands. So we're looking at bodies to see how that got on. Of course, it went up quite significantly, but we are now seeing it back down towards this €1.70 to €2 Euro mark, maybe 3 at most, uh, for at least the most part. We did see these spike right the way up to around €15 Euros at one point. Unsurprising that this is settled again, and I expect that we'll see a reprint in the coming sets, probably in something like gold to try and help sell Phantom rage um so don't be surprised again if this gets reprinted i think at the price it is now it's not a bad pickup especially if you intend to play the deck i mean the card is absolutely insane so no real reason not to own a copy especially at this kind of price but you know let's let's go ahead and see shall we so again for that kind of price range definitely wouldn't knock it Okay, so I wanted to take a quick look at Boots and Cloak because, well, they're the two most popular choices that people go for. Uh, we've seen this getting used in a number of decks, not just PK builds, but ones that are looking to sort of turbo into this kind of thing with a Dark Warrior package, as we've seen in the past, especially when Bardish is around. We're starting to see this absolutely again. So, €4.20 for something in, uh, well, let's just say near mint condition because that's what they go on here. These are kind of confusing how they say excellent near mint, but near mint, €4.20 and above. Or if you want something in just excellent condition, you can get it for €2.99. Again, for those of you who are not familiar with the channel, our standard is to look at something in better than good condition and near uh, near mint ideally. And uh, yeah, that's, that's usually what we go for. Oh, and of course, English, again, because usually the most desirable language of choice. And on to Ancient Cloak, a little bit cheaper at €1 Euro a pop, uh, or €2 Euros if you want something in first edition. Again, not, not really a bad price at all for something in, in Secret Rare. I don't know whether you'd argue that this is max rarity or not. Uh, we do have other printings out there, but it's certainly the highest printed rarity, that's for sure. And next up, we're going to take a look at Fog Blades. Of course, we've got a few different prints of this out now, but they still won't stay down in price. €4.20 Euros and 20 at a minimum, closer to €5 Euros for something in first edition. That's just for commons, I believe. So yes, just for commons, you add that much. 
if you want to move on to the secret rare printings, uh, as you can see here, they are a minimum of 10 euros, let's call it, for the sake of ease. Uh, shot right up, as we can see here, from around the 6 to 7 euro mark on the whole right the way up to here. And I expect that these will go up a little bit more over time. The 30-day price trend is 7 euros and 62, but in the last week it's been well over the 10 mark. And again, I expect to see that continue to go up despite this little trickle down here. This is not really something to pay too much attention to. And if you don't mind Ultras, which is again, arguably, you know, the, the rarity that some people would prefer given it's the original printing, we are seeing these come in at around the 7 euro mark. Of course, if you prefer the secret rares, it's not a whole lot more to spend the extra to get a playset of those instead. But again, 8 euros a pop if you want something in near mint, or 7 euros if you don't mind it in good condition. Continuing with the PK cards, we're looking at Shea Brigandine. Uh, again, we've got the two printings here. We've got the gold secrets and we've got the commons here. The commons are around two euros a pop, maybe three euros or so for the most part. And uh, those, again, that's about the price that they were before. We haven't really seen them go up. I will be interested to see how the other printing is getting on. Okay, we move on to the gold rare again, the highest available printing that is out there. These are getting bought out, as you can see, absolutely disappearing off the market. Uh, again, €5 Euros at a minimum. I expect to see these all disappear down this end, and they start to push up towards that €8 Euro mark. We are seeing that here with that price trend starting to go up and up and up and up. Uh, we've seen it go as high as close to €10 Euros a pop, so again, don't be surprised if it starts heading in that direction. And next up, somewhat linked to it, I should probably go ahead and check out the Dane version as well. So we'll go and add that to our list of things to cover. Nice and professional there of me. Uh, 50 cents a pop for the Ultras. I don't think this is a bad pickup at all. This is an insane card regardless. Uh, there's so many decks that this can be played in. We've seen it in uh, like 3 Axis. We've seen it in Burn the Abyss. We've seen it in Orcus in the past. We've seen it in a good variety of things. Uh, honestly, I think it's better to pick up the higher rarity one because it will maintain um, value for a longer time. And it is one of those cards that looks like it's going to be experimented with for the foreseeable. Uh, it's just insanely powerful. And of course, that interaction uh, with the Phantom Knights and that kind of thing just makes it it even more insane 50 cents a pop though if you just want to cheap out and get yourself the cheapest option or around the one euro mark if you look elsewhere moving on to the secret six euros and 50 and above again i expect that this will start to go up we have seen the price trend actually come down a little bit i do expect this to recover as and when people experiment a little bit more with the deck it may take a little bit of time before that happens though so if you're probably going to go in and try and get them at a first edition now is probably the time to consider doing so and next up, we're looking at just a one printing of Dante. I'm absolutely stoked to see this creeping up over time. We're seeing this around the 12 euro mark. Uh, that's for a first edition in good condition. If you don't mind on limbs, you can get them from all the way up to around the 22 euro mark. If you want something in first edition with near mint, you are looking at a minimum of 28 euros and 50 for an American print, which they do command a little bit more here usually. Uh, I have American prints myself, not to gloat, uh, and they look absolutely awesome. So if anyone is considering it, definitely pay this. If you're in the European market, it looks absolutely absolutely wonderful sadly we only have the premium gold infinite gold version of beatrice i really wish they would reprint this maybe give it the ulti treatment or fuck even just give it ultra i would take that over this disgusting gold secret but we have to live with what we have to live with and these are eight euros a pop and as we can see the overall trend is heading upwards this is because it is just a single print card still and uh, you know despite the fact that it's an ugly rarity it's the only one we have we have to make do and that's why we're seeing the price creep up so we have seen graph from the Astral Packs start to climb down a little bit. It has maintained a slightly higher value than it was, but overall it's still not a too bad a price. So three euros a pop, you couldn't really complain too much. Uh, and that is about right across the board. We did see them go up towards that five and six euro mark, but we've seen it come down a little bit. And again with Graph, we've got a similar story with Skarm going on. If we're looking at the Astral Pack versions, I'm not covering the others because they are cheap as chips. If you want something near mint, a minimum of four euros, five euros. And then upwards after that, you're looking eight plus. Everything else is in just good condition. And if you don't mind that, you can get them from around the two euros and ten mark. This is a really important card in any burn in the bit strategy. It gives you set up for the next turn. However, in the modern game, it could be considered a little bit slow because you wait until the end phase. Think of it a little bit like Titanoclad for those of you who aren't familiar with it. It's going to help search you and set you up for the following turn. It can be a good option to go into if you don't really have anything else, or maybe you just want to give yourself more resources like another tour guide later on, something to consider. But we all know this by now, I don't know why I'm waffling on about it, 2 euros and 10 a pop. And next up we're looking at the absolutely ridiculous smoke grenades. I thought it was bad that it was getting used in, in Fernoble, it's now getting tweaked 
into uh, Dragon Link as well, and we're seeing that affecting some of the prices here, continuing to push it up even more. If you want something in just good condition, American, 17 euros and above. If you want something near mint, you're looking at a minimum of 20 euros a pop. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other print to see how that's getting on as well. So we better fix the rarity, uh, not the rarity, the old condition setting there. I don't know why it's defaulted back to that. We'll take a look and see what those are coming in at. Okay, so 20 euros a pop again for something like this. If you want something in first edition near mint, you're looking at 25 euros a pop. Uh, again, gradually going up over time. It wouldn't shock me if this is the kind of card that we see reprinted soon. Otherwise, I fear it will go the way of a pointer of the red lotus and just continue to climb over time. So, something to potentially consider. It does also say magic card in it, which is really, really neat, and you're never going to get that again. So, something that maybe will uh, sway you towards getting this particular one. If you are playing the deck, I think that you absolutely need to have a copy of this available to you. The, just the hand knowledge, ripping cards is just absolutely insane. And next up, we're looking at Vylon Sphere. Let's see how that's getting on at the moment. So we're looking at the super rare versions, I believe, here. This always confuses me on the website. Super rares are €3.50 or Euro above for something in first edition. Not really too bad. And again, a really key integral part to these kind of bullshit degenerate strategies that people are going through. I have seen this drop off a little bit in favour, but some people are still running it. Let's have a look at the DT versions. So we've seen the DTs come in at a minimum of 14 euros a pop and almost disappeared entirely off the market. Don't be surprised again if we see these get absolutely soaked up and then people can basically charge whatever they want for the DT versions. That is why we've seen this absolute hike in price. If it's something you want to get, it may be worth getting sooner rather than later. And on to Vylon Sphere's cousin run to Vylon Cube. Who knew that Vylons would be of any fucking use in 2020? Yet here we are, abusing cards like it's nobody's business. A minimum of €4 Euros a pop for these. These have gone up absolutely significantly. This is the one that's been used primarily in the Dragon Link deck to search out Smoke Grenade. Um, so we're seeing this get soaked up. Again, that price going up. This is just for the Super though, so let's see how the DT version is getting on now. And a dual terminal version at a minimum of 12 euros for something in near mint. Uh, there is one in good condition just above that. And then you are 15 euros and above. Again, a card that I expect to see start to disappear at this lower end and push it up towards this 20 euro mark if things continue as they are. The price trend was 5 euros. So that gives you a huge indication as to what direction this has been heading in. And for the last few cards of the video, we're going to take a look at the Mega Tins and see how they're getting on with some of the card prices. Again, we're taking a look at Striker Dragon here because Dragon Link really is going up in the world. Uh, I think it's honestly the best combo deck of the format. Some people would argue Infernoble. I honestly think Dragon Link is just another level. And it is really, really quite budget friendly, actually. So something that people should be considering playing. Um, most of the cards that are in the deck are not expensive. Uh, of course, you've got some staples, but they're the kind of staples that everybody should be using or have access to anyway. That's the logic, at least it doesn't always work like that but again for euro 50 for something in secret rare like this really really cool and again an integral part of the deck strategy Next up, we're looking at Mascarena, which has continued to tumble down. Again, I think this is an absolutely insane pickup at €8 Euros a pop, something that people should really consider buying into. I do think long term that this will go up. It just depends on what other prints come out. Of course, we've had the Starlight now, and we've had the original print in, uh, so something to consider there. But again, I do expect this will start to recover very slightly. I don't think it will go up an insane amount, but definitely at least a few euros more than it is now, in my opinion. Next up, we're looking at Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. This card has been absolutely insane. I don't think it's necessarily warped the meta the way we'd necessarily expect, although it is still early days, so there is time for things to change. We are seeing this starting to settle around that €35 Euro mark on the whole. This is where I expect it to stay for at least a little while whilst the kinks in the format are ironed out, let's just say. Although we don't really know where things are going at the moment with the old crush card going on. So let's go ahead and see how this gets on. Again, €34 Euros at a minimum, around a 35 mark on the whole. Not a bad pickup again, I think, at the moment. Something that could potentially go up again if it takes off. Next, we're taking a look at the reprint of Apple. So we are expecting a gold rare print of this coming in towards the end of the year. So, of course, the price is staying down. But again, I think at 11 euros a pop, it's not too bad. The question is, do you wait and wait for the gold print to come out and try and buy a secret for a little bit cheaper? Or do you try and get an ultra even cheaper again? Honestly, I think people should try and wait on this one unless they absolutely need access to it. Wait for the gold prints to come out and then try and get yourself a secret before the prices start to creep back up. 
And we're on to our last two cards here. I wanted to take a quick look at Pot of Extravagance, see how that's getting on. Apart from this massive spike here, this has been trending fairly steadily around this 20 euro mark. Apologies about the noise in the background. My uh, brother's clearly not very good at the game he's playing, hence all of the noise that he's making. 21 euros a pop to 22. Not too bad a price for a secret rare copy. Again, the originals are considerably higher. If you don't mind getting something that's a... I guess a reprint of the original, then this is the one to possibly consider if you want something in a good rarity for a slightly better price. And the final card for today's market watch, Borrowload Savage Dragon. These are around 12 euros a pop. Absolutely insane to me again because it's such an integral part of so many combo decks at the moment. This is the kind of card I could see getting hit on the list weirdly. Uh, I don't think it really deserves to be, but it is getting turboed out in so many different builds. And again, we're seeing it around that 12 euro mark. Really not a bad pickup again, in my opinion. Something you should definitely look at. And I definitely think it's a better print than the Ultra Rare, at least for me, that is. And that is all for today's Market Watch. Thank you very much for coming along, guys. Hopefully, you've really enjoyed the content. If you did like it, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss these every single Monday. Uh, we do this kind of stuff. If there is anything you want covered, of course, drop it in the comments. Message me on social media. I am easy enough to find out there, particularly on Facebook. Uh, drop me a message. If there is anything else you would like to see outside of this kind of content as well, definitely go ahead and check it out. This isn't the only kind of thing we do, though. We do deck profiles, combo tutorials, how to play videos uh and all that other good shit that i'm supposed to do as a youtuber so worth it just just hit subscribe in either case well thank you very much for coming along either way and uh, i guess i'll see you in the next one this content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at jam jam cards uk you can find the links to the ebay store and the facebook page in the description